Good evening, guys, and welcome to another episode of Answered Prayer. And tonight, um, I will be talking about the song Amazing Grace. Kung paano pa nag-umpisa yung kanta, kantang Amazing Grace, at saan ba siya nanggaling? Um, there was this man named John Newton. Siya actually yung sumulat ng Amazing Grace. And nung kabataan niya, si John Newton, he was very open sa pagmak kay God and he even mock people who are open sa kanilang belief kay God. And um, he was a seafarer and um, there was a point in his time na siya ay napasama sa isang ship na naging krusya sa isang ship na nag-trade ng slave. And in 1748, um, he was aboard Greyhound. So yung vessel na yun, may mga slaves silang dala para i-trade. At nakaranas sila ng um, malakas na bagyo na akala nila ay eh, talagang lulubog yung kanilang barko dahil sa laki ng alon at sa lakas ng hangin. So, John Newton, ang ginawa niya, um, itinali nila yung kanilang mga sarili na sa, post, sa post ng barko para hindi sila ma, ma-washed overboard ng malalaking alon. And he said to his captain, uh, if this will not work, then Lord have mercy on us. And then, um, after a while, siya na yung humawak doon sa, um, nagpunta na siya doon sa deck to steer, no? doon ng, ng boat, for 11 hours. And while he pondered about doon sa sinabi niya na Lord, have mercy on us. And then after two weeks, matapos ng kanilang biyahe, nakadaong din sila sa Ireland. And he began reading um, a book, The Christian Pattern. It's a summary. And hindi niya maalis sa isip niya yung sinabi niya na, Lord, have mercy upon us doon sa time na nakakaranas sila ng malakas na bagyo sa gitna ng dagat. And then, he began to ask himself na mapapatawad pa kaya, mapapatawad pa ba ako ni God? Uh, Mariridim pa kaya ako sa sobrang dami ng kasalanan ko, sa sobrang dami ng mga masasamang sinabi ko at dininounce ko pa si God. And then he came to believe na God really sent him a message during that time. Yung message na yun, and then he began working through him. However, during that time, hindi pa rin siya tumigil uh, bilang isang crew sa, sa ship na nag-trade ng slave. And it was after a few years pa um, bago siya natigil sa ganoong gawain. And it was only in 1772 that he wrote the poem. It was actually a poem. Hindi siya yung kanta. I mean, it was only a, a poem. Wala talaga siyang... Um, Melody pa, yung Amazing Grace. Um, it's a poem for a prayer meeting in church. Kasi he became a preacher. And then, habang nagpipreach siya, kina, uh, kinikwento niya yung kanyang mga experience, yung mga hindi magandang gawain na ginawa niya before, and how he was um, converted and redeemed. And... Um, he will often uh, say na they are there or he is there to break hard hearts and 
heal broken hearts. So, um, the song Amazing Grace, um, ang sabi, kinaikan, kinanta na ito uh, like more than 10 million times and marami na rin version ng Amazing Grace ang um, lumabas at isa ito sa mga famous Christian hymns na maritignit nyo sa mga um, churches. And tonight, I will try to sing um, some few lines and hopefully I'll be able to give justice to to the song kasi uh, isa rin ito sa mga paborito kong kanta sa church. So, here it goes. Amazing Grace and this was a poem that was written in 1772 by John Newton. Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. T'was grace that taught my heart to fear. In grace my fears relieved. How precious did that grace appear The hour I first believed Through many dangers, toils and snares I have already Tis grace has brought me safe thus far In grace will lead me home The Lord has promised good to me his word my whole secures. He will my shield and portion be as long as life endures. Yeah, when this flesh and heart shall fail, and mortal life shall cease. I shall possess within the veil a life of joy in peace when we've been there ten thousand years bright shining as the sun with no less days to sing God's praise then when we first begun, stay blessed, stay safe, and have a good night.